Welcome back to the channel today guys. I may have done a little thing with this. Alright, this may just look like an average C44, but I've been messing around with the concept idea of making a low CG WPL. I am very sorry if the wind ruins the audio, but again I'm filming outside. Hopefully the dead cat will uh, muffle the sound a little bit. But the idea I came up with is I've done all the generic low CG things, high clearance links and so on. The other little thing I've made is a front overdrive. So let me get a bit closer. I have no idea if this is going to be in focus, but there's a little front box on the front axle which inside has got two one time scale uh, gear pinions in it so what that does is if you watch the wheels slowly front ones spin faster than the, rear, uh, than the rears Theoretically, when you're trying to climb up a hill like this, your front wheels should be pulling you up and your rear ones should be dragging slightly. Then, if you do decide to punch it on the throttle, your front ones are spinning way too fast compared to the rears, so it wouldn't flip off backwards. If it was the opposite way around, you'd probably get it to continuously wheelie and backflip off stuff. But as this is a concept idea, you've probably seen in the video clips, it's a bit temperamental. This may be due to a few reasons. This is like a very bodged together housing. So the tolerances may not actually be there to engage or for it to engage fully most of the times. Second of all, where I am at Castle Acre, it is way too rough for this. The gear or the gearbox sits so low on it, it just gets caught up on the front of the gearbox every time. I don't know if I'm actually going to bother continuing with this project. I feel like if I was to revisit it again, I'd start off with the single speed which needs or the C42 or well, the shorter wheelbase version of this comes with a single speed gearbox and that single speed gearbox I feel like if you opened it up you could theoretically possibly get different gear gears on it Maybe one bigger one for the front, one small or one smaller for the rear, one bigger one for the front. Then you'll be able to overdrive it a little bit more efficiently than having a box hanging off your front axle. Because, well, I don't know if the camera shows it, but there's quite a bit of a rock rash on that and the uh, bottom of the axles. So, yes, I don't know. Wouldn't this be classed as the world's first? overdriven WPL that I've not seen anyone else attempt to overdrive the front axle or underdrive the rear let me know should I continue trying to deal with this project or should I just yeah, give up to be honest at the moment it's on the side of giving up because each time I take it out something breaks or something gives up on it so yeah let me know in the comments and I'll see ya. 